Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thanks for joining me today. So I created some more memory decks cards and I posted them on Instagram and I had a request to create a, another tutorial so that's what I'm doing today. Now um, if you're not following me on Instagram I would recommend it. I show things there that I don't always show here and um, it'll also give you a uh, look ahead of what I'm creating. So this was one of the first ones that I made. It is using my Scrap Chick uh, freebie. It is the hot cocoa, which I absolutely love, and it has these this cute little face on it. So adorable. The freebie was not a memory decks card. I actually created this in Cricut Design Space, and I really love how it turned out. I even added this cute little spoon and like a saucer underneath it. The next one I created was this one and I made it a little bit more dimensional. And I even um, cut down the actual memory decks card. If you can see there the difference. I think I might uh, do the one with the full memory decks card today. Now for this one, it has the half inch pocket as well as a pocket for the tag. So in the back, I added one of these cute little spoons from the Dollar Tree, put a little candy cane sticker here on it. And then I added a little hot cocoa mix from Swiss Mix. And I made uh, some punch tabs and added to that so it would be easily pulled out. So there you can see the half inch pocket. These sides are acetate. And then the tag pocket is here in the front. And you can write your little message there. Or even on the back, or you could add a photo if you wanted to. And then of course there is the cup. So adorable with this love, cute little face here. So today I'll be walking you through how I set up this file on Cricut Design Space, but then I'll also be walking through creation of this particular design. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you the website where I purchased the SVG files and actually when I got them they were like a freebie. I don't know if they have their freebies for a week or what their policy is. But um, I'm kind of glad I got it when it was on freebie because now it is $3. And if you find that that's a little bit pricey for an SVG, I would definitely wait for a sale. Um, they have them periodically and um, then get it because it's a really great SVG file. I, I love it. So this is their design here. And it's kind of like a flat card. And if you'll see here in this image, um, there is the ability to hold a cocoa mix as well. It's just a flatter design. Before we move on to Cricut Design Space, I did want to say one thing. Um, now that this file is actually, has a price attached to it, I don't feel right sharing my Cricut Design Space links. I think that would be taking revenue away from my scrap check. Therefore, I will be showing you how to get the SVG file the way you need it to create the designs that I did on the memory decks card, but I will not be providing my Cricut Design Space links. If you have my link, you're able to get into the design without paying for uh, the Cocoa Cup SVG files, and I don't feel that that's right. I feel it's taking away from a business, and I don't want to do that. So. I hope that you'll continue to watch how to do this because you would be able to insert any other kind of cup. Just use the same building construction on how I've created it. All right, so let me go to Cricut Design Space now and show you how I made all the files to create the memory decks card. So once you're in Cricut Design Space, you go to the upload button, you go ahead and upload your image, and I already have it here, so I'm going to insert it. I once again use the guidelines to align the cup before I ungroup everything to resize it. Once you kind of have it the size that you want, I'm doing a little bit bigger than four inches across. 
then go over here to the right hand side and ungroup. Now I wanted to show you some of the pieces of this. Here is the cocoa. These items here are the marshmallows. These round circles can be eyes, they could also be cheeks, and then the red piece is the tongue. Now if you noticed on the website, they had a different face, just with the circles. But now, the cup actually comes with the eyelashes. So I wanted to point that out, that it was different. For this card piece, this is actually what you would fold over and then put your marshmallow mix in if you were going to do a flat card. So I'm going to be doing a lot of welding and slicing to get some of these pieces the way that I want them. So for this particular card piece, I need to first get rid of the score line. So I'm going to delete that over here in the right hand bar. Next I'll insert a square and align that right at the bottom and slice. So now we have the actual card. So these two pieces here go with the card. Now these stack on top of each other, but I didn't really think it was necessary to have two cards on there and then have this one on there as well. But I'm going to leave it here in case that's the way you want to do it. Get rid of these. Now there are two speech bubbles, but I didn't use those. For this image, the cup, the first thing you need to do again is go over here to the right hand side and delete the score line. Next I inserted a square and I cut off the bottom by slicing the two images. Now you'll notice that there's some extra pieces here. so. I had to get rid of those separately again too. So I did the same thing, slicing. Right there. So now I have the image exactly how I want it. It does take a little time to do this. So for this one, I did duplicate it. Okay, for the image that I duplicated, I'm going to take this black piece. You may want to duplicate that in case you need it again. And I put it behind the face on the cup. And then what I did was weld these two pieces together. So now you have a full cup with no face. So these are basically the images that you're going to need. I did do a search for a spoon. And when I found one that I liked, which was this one right here, MEF967, in case that helps anyone, I insert that image. And then I resized it to whatever I needed. I also even looked for a saucer to use underneath the cup. Took those images and sliced those. I know I'm doing this really quick, but I don't want this video to be too long, but I kind of wanted to just show you how I got these pieces. The next thing I would do is get my memory dex card. Insert that and resize to four inches in width. I really need to save one that's already cut down to about an inch. <laughs> I think I have a file, but I always grab this one. Okay, so now that we have our base, I'm going to take this cup 
and I'm going to align it where I want it. Now you could center these if you want it like that. I just didn't like the way that looked. So I kind of did it to where the cup was hanging out one side and then I welded those together. But before you do that, make sure you take the bottom piece and duplicate it because you're going to need that for your, your decorative paper. And then weld those together. So this is how I cut and welded everything together to create the first uh, memory decks card that I showed you, which was the uh, red and white dots. And this is the flat card for the hot cocoa. Next, what I want to show you is the dimensional one. For the dimensional memory decks card, we're going to be using the same shapes, except we're going to create some new ones as well. So for the memory decks base, one of the things that I did was actually cut it down to be a smaller memory decks part where the holes are. I think I cut off maybe a half inch off each side. I don't know why I wanted to do that. I just did. <laughs> so you really just add a square and cut off on each side. And duplicate. You would take your cup, duplicate that. and then add your cup on there and weld. And then you'd have the same thing. It just looks a little different. So once you have that piece done, the next thing we need to do is take our cup. We're gonna duplicate it again. And we're gonna weld these together. So you would take one and you would go to the flip icon at the top and flip horizontally. You're going to Move those where these two pieces connect and then you're going to weld. Now this is one piece. So this is what we fold and make a little slot for our card over here. This goes behind it like that. So that's one additional piece that we use. The next one Let's duplicate it again just to make sure is this piece. So we're going to duplicate. We're going to take this piece and we're going to go back up to flip and flip vertical. Now I use the guidelines here because what we want to do is also add a square. We want the square to be half an inch in width and maybe two inches in length. I'm going to manually flip this to where it's on the side. And add it to the bottom of this black image. Make sure they're touching and then take the top one and add that as well. Now what I found is good is to make sure everything is centered horizontally and when they are, weld those pieces together. This gives you the place that we fold and insert the cocoa. So that was our next new piece. The next thing I did was insert a square and I resized this to be 1.5 inches in width and 2.5 inches in length. Oh, I have to do the undo the lock <laughs> and make the width 1.5. Okay, next I want to add a shape and I'm going to add score lines. I'm going to re size the score line to be 2.5. Let me recolor this so you guys can see. 
I'm using, again, I'm using the guidelines here and I'm going to bring over the score line I just inserted and that half an inch, I'm going to place the score line and I'm going to duplicate it. And it actually popped it in right at the half inch again. So once you have those, you attach those and duplicate. So these two pieces here are for the acetate that we cut for the side of the pocket that we're making. So these pieces are the ones that you use to create the dimensional pocket memory decks card for the hot chocolate. So now that we have all of our pieces designed, let's print and cut out those images and go to the table to create our memory decks card. For the memory decks card today, I will be using DCWV Red White Christmas. Okay, so I have all the pieces cut out. I used Paper Phenomenon 100 pound white cardstock again. I really like that. Here is the extra piece that I cut. So this would be like your tablecloth if we're thinking of it in terms of where you would set your cocoa cup. Now in the file you'll see I did cut up a little bit into the cup because I wanted it to make sure it was underneath all the layers that I were, was adding. I thought I would add this piece here, and I call this the saucer for your cup, like that. For this piece, I used Michael's foil, the Recollections red foil. That cuts really nice. It's a, a thin cardstock, which I was surprised. I thought it might be thicker. So we're going to align this to the top of the memory decks part. And then kind of center that how you like it. Next, what we're going to need is our scoreboard and our two pieces of acetate. These are one and a half by two and a half. I'll get my board and be right back. Now what we're going to do with our acetate pieces is on the one and a half inch side, you're gonna score it a half inch, do it a couple times, and then one inch. And then do the same on the second piece. Now we're going to need some adhesive tape. I'm using score tape and we're going to put it on the two outside pieces. So you have a half inch, half inch, half inch. So on the two outside half inches, add adhesive. Now the piece that looks like this, we're going to need our scoreboard as well. We're going to align where this comes into the straight line. Align this with a line in your scoreboard so that you could score across here, okay? And that equals a half inch also. Usually when you get one lined up, the other one is lined up as well. And then go ahead and burnish on the score line. Okay, so that's prepped. For our acetate pieces, you could go ahead and fold on them as well and get them prepped. 
Okay, so now with those are ready. So we have the base is ready, our acetate pieces, and the middle piece. Now, when I created this one, I actually did the handle on the left-hand side and I added a face. This time, I'm going to do it on the handle on the right-hand side, but I'm not going to add the face. I decided not to because I really wanted to do one with a pattern and I really like how that looks. So if you had your face cut out, you know, your eyes and your mouth, you could go ahead and add them right there. And then it would look like that. Um, what we're also going to do differently is instead of brown cocoa tripping over the cup, I'm going to use white. I love how that looks. So I am changing this up a little bit different, but the steps are the same. The only thing you won't see me do is add the eyes and the mouth, which, you know, that's easily done. I'm sure you can figure that out by just looking how I have this set up. So let's go ahead and add these pieces. Now, how I created the little tag pocket was that I was at first going to make this kind of a open card, but you would need a magnet or Velcro to do that. And I don't want to see Velcro. <laughs> so that's why I decided to do the little slot instead. So we just put glue down here around the bottom of the cup and I do it really thin and then of course on the handle and then up at the top. And then just close your cup. For the card, there is a piece that looks like this and a white piece, like a little rectangle. We glue this on top of the brown piece. This is where you would write your message and I just try to center this a little bit in between the sides and we add our glitter marshmallows there are extra pieces if you wanted to do a white marshmallow and then two glitter pieces you could do that as well or you can do glitter on glitter like I did here on that one. To get these to stand out a little bit, I used Distress Ink Vintage Photo and just went around the tops. And I just think it looks kind of cool, almost as if you've roasted the marshmallow. So then this should slip right into our cup. <laughs> there we go. So there it is. Now I'm going to remove that for now because we're going to work on the middle pocket. So what we need to do here is add this piece onto the back of our cup. So just put glue on one side and then center that onto the cup however you want it to look. It's purely up to you. I usually do it to where there's a little edge around it all the way around. Oh, you can't really see here, but So there's an edge. Okay. Okay, now we take one of our acetate pieces, take that cover off, and what I do is align it right here on the side. Now this does curve in, so I go where it's going to be a straight line, 
and then put that in there. So I'll kind of fold that down. And I don't really have a set place that I put it. You know, you want to make sure you're on the white cup. So see. And we can put on our other one. I just kind of saw where this one was lined up here to line it up over there. And then just make sure that you fold these back to where it's kind of to where it's kind of like in the box shape, okay? That makes sense. You want to make sure these are folded. Okay? Take off these adhesive film cover. Take off. And then fold this over. Now because we're not going all the way down, you can't actually like lean this up against anything. You're going to have to kind of take your best guess <laughs> and line the top up with the top of the cup. I hope that made sense. Because I can't really redo it. <laughs> All right. And then I'm just burnishing this down. So there is the back of the cup. And what I do, oh, before I put this on there, I want to do this a little bit. I actually even went around the whole cup. Just for a little something. Then we're going to put our adhesive on the back of this and add it to our base. Now here again, you're going to just add, you're going to align the cups together. It's best to stand over it to make sure you get it right. and then burnish that down. Okay, now that we have our cup done, we're going to do the hot cocoa pack. So I bought these from the Dollar Tree actually, and what I do is bend down the sides, I fold them over just where the, you know, the little pleat there is. It's not a pleat, but it's just where the edge of the pocket is for the hot cocoa. Fold the top over. And then I punch out two tabs using the tab punch from We Are Memory Keeper. And I adhere this to the top of the bag. Again, just to make it easier to pull out, but it also adds a little decoration. So that slips right in. <laughs> Let's put our uh, little note card in there. And for the spoon, I used these from the Dollar Tree, the silver plastic spoons. I would prefer like a clear or white, but I think this is all they carry, I don't know. And then I have these Jolie's Boutique's little candy canes. And I'm just going to add one of these. I found the best way to adhere this is with a little tape. 
and I usually put it right here. Now I really don't expect anyone to use this spoon, so that's why I'm using tape. But if you do think they might use the spoon, I would use like ribbon or something like that. And then we just stick that in our little back pocket. And there we have it. That is our little hot cocoa memory dex card. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this for today. Thanks a lot for joining me. See you next time.